Let's do it. Make him release a couple of tags. It makes my war exhaustion go back, but it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna head over and see just capital down. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to spend a couple of points over there, get some more gold coming in. That's all fine and dandy. We are gonna take this neck this tech first before we do anything else though. There we go. He got a wall breach. Classic. The classic. Hopefully we don't uh, you know. Lose a bunch of bogus things here. Come on now, let me win a siege on his capital. I got the maximum cannons for the uh there we go. Let's get those guys off of there. 21, there we go. And we won it. Might even be able to wipe them out here in the hills. No, just kidding. But we will get over onto his mountain fort. Easy peasy. So Hessa has annexed a tag. So you will release Versberg. Thank you, sir. Let's just take that. That's fine. Acts of uniformity is nice. So as far as what you're going to do here. Oh, nice. Yes, do it. Run down. Gun him down, Bohemia. My man, look at him. He's just rec reckless abandon. So you guys are going to release as many of these little guys as you can. And uh, give me that. How close are you guys to winning that siege over there? Nah, not very close. So let's do that there. Beautiful. They'll release all those guys. Let's pour that up. Let's go with Advancement of Religion. Take that tech there. And then uh, invest a bit into tech here. super close all right guys so we took a little bit of a break from the last one i apologize if i have a little bit of morning voice here it is early in the morning but we have essentially crossed the reformation we have one reformation center left to worry about we have one single protestant prince here in regensburg kind of funny but uh now we're just going to look around and find ways to get some imperial authority so i see here that urbino is uh, indeed a member, and Perugia are both indeed members. So, if we can make our way down here, get these guys to join the Empire, we should be very much sorted. So, we are going to uh, do just that. So, let's get those guys over here. Let's actually declare this war right now before Urbino would be willing to join in. He's cruel, so. I think we would be able to bring him in. It might be, it's gonna be very close. Uh, the, the amount, that is. Let's also kill those rebels for him, so we don't have to worry about that. Looks like uh, Venice is going to handle that for me. So, let's make sure that we don't let him get a bunch of his guys grouped up over here. So, if we can catch him... Ah. Fight him in the hills? Looks like we're going to still win anyways. So, that's actually an extra bit of a roll for us. So that's good. The sooner we can get Venice out, the better. May this union... Mm, half off trader? I don't know, man. We've been having a lot of money issues. We're ahead on Diplo, so I feel like it's not really necessary, actually. Matter of fact, we should probably switch to an admin advisor. Val's a pretty good ab admin... ruler. So this is Hills, so this is great if we could fight them here. Should be a, a whooping. Apparently not. I'll take what I can get, though. This is good. Beat up on you guys here. You guys can try to reinforce. I don't really care. I can take these losses. You cannot. We're never that lucky. Yeah. Maybe we'll maybe we'll take the 71%. What do you guys think? Will we take the 71% chance? Going once, going twice. We finally took it. I'll be damned. I almost don't believe it. That's the type of thing you gotta see it to believe it, honestly. So now Venice. You gonna give me your money? There we go. 
And now, let's say, hypothetically, if I were to attack these guys, Venice would join him. Mm. Quite a bit, actually. This is okay. So, I don't know if I actually would want to take anything. Like a Spoleto over there. I'm not sure. Without Luca being here, it does make it a bit harder for us. So, let's get over here, get these guys all killed. Hey! Very good. So Geneva joined the HRE. Perfect. Uh, five Heretic Princes. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, so Trier is now... Yikes. Okay, um... Let's see here, we do have a claim on Brabant. We get co-belligerent, Trier. Yeah, I think this is the way we do it. So I don't have to take any AE for that war. So, we're gonna head over there. I'm actually gonna just beeline it for him. I'll let my vassals handle this war. This war is a... not important. Definitely need to convert these guys as much as we possibly can. Yeah, they took- they won that siege. So they're on Prague. You guys know how much we gotta siege down Prague, it's very important. Come on, man. Just win a damn siege. I am so absolutely over it. There we go. I cannot, almost can't believe that we want to siege that small. There we go. There, The Reformation is now done. There will be no more Reformation centers that spawn. It's pretty cool. Let's uh, just piece everybody out for the monies now. So these guys are going to get pieced out for Force Religion. All your money. There we go. Let's get over here. Get those guys off of there. Free stability. I like it. Uh, I love me some national unrest. I can extend the monopoly. Let's pay off our debts. Come on now. Are you joking? Just because they reinforced a bunch, now they're gonna win that siege. Yikes. Alright. So, these guys are now done. Can I have them release anybody? I can if I wanted to. So this would make me pay a bit of Diplo. I'm way ahead on Diplo points. I think I'm going to do this, actually. So now that pulls him in here. Not this province over here, which is a bummer. But all of these guys are now. And a lot of them will likely join the HRE. Let's uh, improve relations with a few of them. Neapolitan conquest of Pisa, huh? I can do that. So who are you at war with, man? It's just Naples and Venice and Sealy. I think that's something I have to enforce on. I need to get in on that war, though I probably should have waited until I could pass the next reform, but it's okay. We'll just bestow some grace on people to make sure we don't get a coalition. That's going to be the major one. Come on, 40. Oh, I just got a disease outbreak on a 42%. I hate. Let me reiterate, hate sieges in this game. Don't make any sense. AI definitely cheats. They win that siege 10 times before I win the siege. The siege has been going on for over a year now. And I have cannons. Okay. I'm losing brain cells so fast. Just let me go down to fight Naples, man. <laughs> there we go. Siege him down. Get him out of the war. Dith Martian is uh, getting siege down. Brittany is not, but this is fine. I definitely told you guys to go over there. So let's do that. Alright, you're going to give me all your money. Give me all that, and you're going to release him. Very good. Perfect. I definitely do need to get my war exhaustion down a bit, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Now we're making some progress here. Looks like Aragon's getting sieged down, but I don't think that's an issue. I think we'll be fine. So, we definitely need to do this for a mission. Where are we at here? Um, Austria prospers, so we just need a little bit more dev, we can do that, and then Austrian culture. So yeah, we just need to build one more manufacturing in our Austria area. 
Honestly, we could probably get our our um trade power up a bit here as well. So we get some money from that. That's nice. He gave me a province. I didn't want this. Yeah, I don't want this. Why would you give that to me? Oh, because I had a claim on it. Yeah. I don't want that. I'm going to give it to uh, Hungary. <laughs> Either that or I could just release... Um... Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's go with the admin points. Yes. Maybe, maybe I will take this siege sometime. Oh, Val, no. Five, two, three, weak air. A three, three, one. Literally the same exact stats that I have right now. Yikes. Okay. So. Venice pieces out gives us a ton of money. We are now very much in the hole for uh, that stuff. I think. Hmm, can I get a guy for inflation reduction? That would be super useful. Let's go with uh, Tolerance to the True Faith is nice, especially considering the fact that, you know, there is no. We're up to 82, man. We need out of this war. <laughs> we need out now. Gonna break my heart. This is one of those things where you just keep on pushing them back over and over again. There we go. Perfect. Let's get some Diplo advisors out like that, and then allies. There we go. I'm gonna peace out. Because that doesn't affect me at all. I will take this tech here. I will get you guys upgraded. Let's go with... Um... Let's go with morale defense. So we definitely need to make sure that everybody in the HRE loves me. So I'm going to bestow Imperial Grace on basically anybody that may need it. So these guys definitely need it, see? Any of our electors will get bestowed Imperial Grace on them, whether they're allied to me or not. Make them all love me. And now we bestow Imperial Grace on anybody who may not like me, but uh, it would be beneficial for them to like me. I think that's enough for me. Let's enact the reform. And uh, there are now 74 members. That's uh, pretty good. So who else has been joining? Looks like Corsica joined, Bologna joined. Now we just need, C oh, Papal States attacked and released Siena. Well, looks like, uh, hmm. When's our truce to you guys up? So yeah, let's just get the Pope man in the, into the empire. I think that's fine. Corsica's already in it. If once we get Pope Man in, we'll be able to, uh... It'll be fine. Yikes. These guys really just beelined it from my capital. I'm just gonna have to piece them out separately. Because I'm not gonna be able to pull them in. So I just want a short truce with them. Right, I forgot about this one as well. I guess I'm just gonna core it. And then I'll release Croatia, I think. Great Peasants War, huh? More score cost versus other religions, so whenever we attack the Ottomans or any of these Orthodox guys over here, we'll be good. Let's convert some stuff, actually. Looks like we have two missionaries, so let's convert both of them as well. They're carpet sieging over here. Savoy. will uh, just give me war reps and whatever money you're willing to give me. There we go. So let's get down here. This is regrettable. We just need a peace Pope man out. That's the major one. Because once we can pull him into the HRE, 28 AE is not bad at all. The Council of Trent. We will definitely be harsh. Yes. Well, we don't need to worry about the Reformation because it's over. Technology costs, idea costs. I'm going to hold off on the Counter Reformation. <laughs> Considering the fact that there is no Counter Reformation now. It's a bummer. I was trying to core this. But he's not allowing it. La won the Siege of Roma. Very good. So let's pull you in. You're also gonna give me money, and then 
There we go. Now, Pope Man, I know that you hate me, but uh, I'm going to make sure that you like me. That's going to be a big one. And so, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to send you a tithe. There we go. So check that out. 28 because of internal peace. Currently six provinces outside of the HRE. So who's got them? Mantua. Oh, he an annexed Bologna. I can actually have him release Ferrara as well. So that's great. Uh, let's go with Imperial Ban. Okay. So let's head over here to Parma. And I'll just carpet siege him down. You will release. And then. So we're getting a bunch of prestige from that. Uh, there we go. There we go. So he's already in the HRE. Modena will probably join. Let's uh, improve relations with him. He's Protestant. What the heck? Okay. So right now we've been playing a very like clean game, honestly. Um, hmm. So it'd be good, but being behind on admin tech is no good. So I'm actually gonna take this because it's gonna give us two diplo rep and a yearly prestige tick. So that's definitely worth it. Like, look at this. Look how many votes we're getting, even though people don't really like me. Easy peasy. So let's see here. Church and Trieste. Do that. I would like to do this, but uh, it looks like it still has low trust for me. Really? Curious what that's about. So I'm going to send him a gift of 100 and see if he'll uh, be a little more willing to join. He would. Cool. So this is going to be an all out war. We need to make sure that we just stomp France. Um. Actually, ooh, here's an idea. Imperial ban him. Separate piece out a few of these guys separately. Yeah, this is it. Because we can use Imperial ban for 75% cost to have him release a bunch of vassals, which is going to be really good for us. Because we can then bait them into joining the HRE. Or not bait them, but convince them to, right? There we go. This will be good. Um... People influence for prestige or not. Yeah, I don't care. I keep forgetting to... Um... Oh, yikes. Let's get one more monthly tick. I keep forgetting to um, take the crown land. I definitely need to be better about doing that. There we go. Should be an easy win. It's defensive. We have about the same morale. There we go. Maybe I should... Get a discipline guy. Let's see if I can get a morale guy. That would be good. Very good level one morale guy for and uh, 50 diplo. Sounds good. Yikes. They are beelining it for um down there. We've lost Verden. Really? Classic French. We went over here. We did. Let's get them out. So those guys will both be in the HRE. We're ahead on Diplo. So that's good. There we go. That's two more HRE princes. There we go. Yeah, so let's give him the Hungary. He's got some extra defensiveness. It's really good. They're, for some reason, not sieging this back. I wonder where his men are, but as we went through this. So anyways, let's take a look here. I'm going to sort by war score. This is what you can do to him. Um, the issue is, is that this is not HRE lands, so I'm going to also have to, like, hmm. So this isn't what we want. We basically want to make it so we can... Um, so Burgundy is not in the HRE. What I should do, I should declare on him. I will, as soon as I take Paris, you know, give this back to Hungary. I don't know why he gave that back to me. Once we take Paris, we're going to attack on him and force him into the empire. It will all make sense.
It will all make sense eventually. So they're sieging down Berlin. They're sieging down random stuff down here. That's all fine. We've won the Siege of Paris. Let's give that to Hungary for some extra defensiveness. Let's head on over to our capital here. They'll call in Mulhouse. Well, that one's a little scary. I'm not going to lie about that one. Does he have no army? Oh, here he is. He's up here. Let's just get those guys wiped out real quick. There we go. So now this is in the HRE. I actually gained a little bit of points for that, so that's nice. And then what we need to do now, once we have a person. There we go. So now what we want to do is have him release a bunch of nations. Sort by war score. We want nations that will border over here. So then we'll have him give back these two provinces. So now all three of these guys will border him and they will all join the HRE in defense of themselves. And I gain, I take 75 prestige from him. That's crazy, actually. So let's head on in and carpet siege this turd. He can siege Berlin, I don't care. What's he gonna do, break my alliance with Brandenburg? Ask me if I care about my alliance with Brandenburg. There we go, siege everybody down. Verden does not want out yet. Might be able to actually force this piece pretty soon. The thing is, is the longer this goes on, the more his war exhaustion goes up, the more that he's going to be in, in big trouble. Because you got to remember, he still has this giant army running around. And every month that goes by, he's losing an insane amount of money. He only has four loans right now, but I guarantee you he's going up like one loan per month right now. Oh, maybe not that much, but it's going up for sure. So... Don't you dare, you son of a gun. You can take a couple of those back. I'll take the stab hit, that's fine. So let's get Provence out of here. War reps, all your money. We'll pull you into the Empire soon, my man. So now this one, that's it. Actually, I wonder if I can 100% him. I can. There we go. So he just released one, two, three, four, five, six tags. This Alençon I probably shouldn't have, but so now these guys, in an attempt to defend themselves, are more than likely going to join the HRE, especially if their truces are up with those guys. So, let's recall a couple of you guys and improve relations with all these guys down here. And we're getting close to uh, pushing our next, um, our next reform through, so. Those guys should join here, hopefully in the near future. All right, doing. We're going strong. Ever next mill tech, I will wait until next year to see if anybody else wants to take it. Neighbor bonus, nah. Okay, fine with me. Get you guys over here. Papal state, come on, man. I haven't won the. Uh, I haven't won it yet. All right, next one. I am gonna go with. Let's go with absolutism. So what's my force limit? 70. I should probably build up a little bit. Now we're drilling two big 29 stacks, which feels very good, and we're gaining a ton, and I mean a ton, of Imperial Authority. So, I think the next move is to attack Poland. Huge special thanks to Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Corbett, RJ Pilot, The Bitter Steel, Keith, Jonathan T.A.P., Salik, Mark Mensch, Devin Terhanika, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Nathan Albright, William Reed, Airborne Animal 7, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.